Yo, yo, yo. Ah. Hello, my name is Michael Salmon, and welcome to another episode of Late to the Party. And I just want to say, give me one good reason, just one, yeah, why these two guys, Alex Sheehan and Casey Walsh, don't deserve a good. And one more time, a good. Right, now for those who don't know who they are, um, they are an Irish rap group by the name of Versatile. And uh, to be honest with you, they've been out quite a while now and they are getting some big numbers. You know what I mean? Uh, one of the videos has got over well over a million views and such and um, they're, they're doing their thing right and I'm not taking away nothing from that you know what I mean all good to them and you know what I mean rap is universal it's for everybody right so what's the issue here what's the controversy right and it stems from one song called Dublin City G's or something like that in which they refer to black women as bitches yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not making it up. Watch the clip. I fuck up black bitches. When we fat bitches, I home in the kitchen. All my soy bitches are dancing and kissing and licking. We think they prefer this to chicken. Listen. So, as you can see in that verse, yeah. Actually, the whole verse, I think what the controversy started off was the whole verse is just misogynistic. And uh, in the article, you can see that these women are complaining about how they're talking about and degrading women in general. And then the racist part as well is just a, was just the icing on the cake, which is like, now, now, now you're just taking a piss. You're just going one step too far now. You know what I mean? And for me, it was just like, when I, when I first watched it and I listened to what it was and I kind of unpacked it in my head, this is some slave master shit. Now, those who are ignorant to um, the uh, black history, yeah, you you wouldn't know or you wouldn't might not understand. Like this is how slave masters used to treat their property and their women. You know what I mean? So you'd have the white woman who would be in the house, put being put on a pedestal or being cared for, yeah, and treated. Well, in this video, they didn't treat her right, but she's been treated like a slave in one sense, but it's more like a domestic slave kind of thing. But then on the outside now, they want to go out and carry out all their sordidness, yeah, and all their desires and their fantasies on the black woman and shit like that. That's some slave master shit mentality they've got going on there. Now, they might not know it because obviously in these times, talking about that thing is, oh, don't talk about slavery, don't talk about slavery. And a lot of people are just too ignorant to it and want to ignore it. But you know what? You ignore the past, it only comes around to bite you in the arse again. Yeah? So, so that's one of the issues. The second issue that I have with this video is also the black woman herself, who obviously knows the song and allows it to happen. Where's her dignity? Does she have no pride? No, I mean, where's her, uh, she not got no, as, my, as my parents would say, or any, or any black parents out there would say, she not how she am. You know what I mean? To allow this black guy, uh, to, to allow this white guy to parade her around and call her a black bitch in the song. Because I remember rightly, when you, I remember correctly, if you ever were to fix your lips and call a black woman a bitch, it was World War Three. It was on. Why are you acting like a bitch? So that was my second issue, right? And my third issue, with this one is more of a, um, for black men kind of thing, where in the sense that, you know what, yeah? Black women are always complaining about how there aren't enough good black men out there and so forth and so on, right? And this is one of the examples why, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, these guys have been, these guys have been shown no 
there's been no sorry there's been no reprimand for these guys doing what they're doing apart from a few tweets and stuff i think it's i think it blew up on twitter but because i'm not in that twitter circle i didn't get to see it right excuse me but apparently there has been a few words being said but it seems that them words have been fell on deaf ears because it, they don't the, the, the act themselves they don't seem to have you know what I mean? It ain't, they ain't said nothing. There ain't be no apology or nothing like that. So it's like they didn't give. Right. So I'm not one to condone violence. Yeah. But you know what I mean? If this was to happen. Kim, run into your fist. Oh, uh, yeah. I tried to, well, I tried to do it like counter, but oh. coming in at the same time. And it worked. Everything oh. went perfect. I thought the referee let it go a little too far. Yeah. Okay. The guy could have been killed right there. <laughs> Now, I mean, I'd get tickets to that. You know what I'm saying? And not that I condone violence. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that kind of a person. Right? And then there was another issue that I had with the video as well. And that was also the idea that if a black person was ever, a black artist was ever to ever even fix his lips to look like he was going to call a white woman a bitch, yeah, his career would be done. In fact, he's probably doing time right about now. 16 to life. <laughs> I know I'm exaggerating, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. So the idea that they could have done this and got away with it. You know what I mean? Like I says, some people have argued or some people will argue, well, you know, right. In the rap songs, the, the, the artists talk about women in that way all the time. And to be honest with you, it's not, that's not true. Yeah. Right, you look at any black artist who talks about women in the videos, the women are there as trophies. You know, they've got them scantily dressed in the background, some might walk in front of the camera every now and then, but what it is, is they'll be treating that woman like, see this gal here, this is a bum thing. My girls or the girls that I chill with are the sexiest looking girls. I mean, girl, your body is perfect. A lot of what you're twisting and you're working. A lot of what you're flipping and you're burning. Tell me, I can thought you said your body may be earned it. Man, them light it and burn. You see the pretty girls that flick up them skirts. Stiff thing I will learn. She left a man guy, you know. I mean, they are still objectifying them. I mean, they, don't get me wrong. But they're not degrading them. And this is what these guys are doing. These guys are just degrading these women. You know what I mean? And to the black woman, they've been racist to her too. Right? Because, as I said, you couldn't in degrading because they're de because the manner of what because of the manner in which they're degrading them is unacceptable i think they should be punished for that oh. you know what i mean but you might not think differently you might be just thinking oh it's just a rap song and, you know we they hate all the time it's all right but let me know in the comments below you know you know what do you think is it um were they overstepping the mark or because it's rap, it's acceptable. You know what I mean? Leave your comments in the description. Well, make me know in the comments below. My name is Michael Salmon and this is Late to the Party. I'm out. Peace. And don't forget, yeah, to subscribe, share and all that good stuff. <laughs> I'm out. Bye.